auto layout in Figma. In this video, you're going to find out what it is and how to use it. We'll also go through a few examples to better understand this powerful feature. Let's start with the basics. Auto layout is a special kind of layer group that allows you to organize your layers in a way that is especially useful for designing websites and user interfaces. Let me show you what I mean. When using auto layout, you get more control and flexibility over how specifically your layers behave when you group them together and also how layer groups can affect layers they contain and vice versa. For example, the size of this button is affected by the size of the text it contains or the other way around. The size of the text is affected by the size of the group that is inside of. So how do you enable auto layout? Step 1. Select your objects that you want to organize. Step 2. Press Shift A to wrap them inside an auto layout. Step 3. Use the auto layout properties to adjust the spacing, direction and alignment of your objects. You can also specify how different objects behave in relation to their parent group. If I select fill container, this rectangle will now always expand to the biggest possible width, which right now is the full width of this auto layout. Same goes for height. If, on the other hand, I want this rectangle to always stay 200 pixels wide and tall, I can specify that here by setting up a specific width and height while setting these options to fixed. Auto layouts can have backgrounds and paddings. Objects inside an auto layout do not expand into these padding areas. Your objects can have a specific spacing between them or you can choose to spread the spacing evenly across the parent element. You can also click on highlighted areas to adjust spacing and padding values. If the objects you are grouping inside an auto layout contain text elements, you get the option to align all of those based on text baselines. You can also choose if you want your auto layout to ignore or include object strokes. And that's everything you need to know about auto layout in Figma. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, I'd really appreciate you leaving a like if this video brought value to you. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.